Okay, greetings, greetings, greetings. This is Revere Sky, Revere Sky's Essence. Now, I was reading this part up here on the National Library of Medicine, clinicaltrials.gov. There's two total different websites. It's all National Library of Medicine, but it's a whole I say a whole <laughs> I say a hodl, so that's like a whole different total. <laughs> hodl. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, read about imminent changes and impacting usage of the clinicaltrials.gov. Usage of the API return to the classic website. I don't know. Well, anyway, as much as I've watched as many of Net Most Wanted videos, they kept talking about myocarditis. That's all they kept talking about, myocarditis. People having heart conditions, supposedly, allegedly, after the Jabberwocky. But this is interesting. So I put myocarditis in, and then I found this one. So they doing some in Canada, China. Value of biomarkers in patients with myocarditis. So that's, you know, a lot of people do biomarkers. Like if you have a heart attack, if you have some type of hemorrhage, you know, they, they just start looking at your biometrics or your DNA and looking for specific markers. And they keep note of that. So when somebody else have it, they compare the markers until they find like a psychopath or sociopath. They record markers in the person's DNA and genetics and stuff. And then like it could be all these serial killers and they just record all their markers. And then they say, well, they all got this in common. And this person that go to church don't have this, you know. So it's interesting that they're doing biomarkers in uh, China. Okay. Okay, they're doing myocarditis. Okay, they're not recruiting on this one. But... Treatment of immune checkpoint inhibitors. Immune checkpoint inhibitors induce myocarditis. And then they put the Y, like, th that's interesting. Okay, but this is the one I want us to read. This is interesting. Myocarditis post-vaccinations. Okay. post vaccination meaning the meaning of post vaccination is current or existing after vaccination how to use post vaccination in a sentence okay boom here we go so this is why this one is so important because like if you let the news or media tell it, they don't link. So myocarditis, post-vaccination or multi-system inflammatory syndrome. Ain't that some inflammation is what hurts people. So let's check this one out. And this one is in Israel, Jerusalem. Okay, study details. Brief summary. So they got the name of the vaccine right here. BNT162B2 vaccine has become one of the most prevalent vaccines against the COVID-19 and is currently the main vaccine used in Israel. Since marketing and beginning of use of the vaccine, we and others have reported of the development of the post-vaccination myocarditis in this study the investigators wish to explore the long-term impact on 150 patients who have been diagnosed with myocarditis or multi-system inflammatory syndrome don't you know when you have inflammatory inflammation your body is fighting something 
in the year following their diagnosis of myocarditis. Detailed description. Aim of study. The primary aim of the study is to evaluate the impact of long-term impact of myocarditis, which has been developed secondary to COVID-19 vaccine or COVID-19 infection. The primary endpoints of the study will be functional evaluations of the patients using clinical evaluations that includes questionnaires, ECG findings, evaluation of the systolic and diastolic function of the heart using echocardiogram or cardiac MRI laboratory test, including troponin, CPK, CRP, bro cytokines, chemokines, methods in this perspective study patients will be recruited from healthcare providers. The selected patients will come to Hadassah Hospital within 6 to 12 months after they have been diagnosed with myocarditis. Upon the patient's arrival, they will sign the informed consent. The investigators will draw blood tests and the participants will fulfill health questionnaires. So we finally got facts showing that they're doing studies on people who have got myocarditis after the post-vaccination. We'll perform an echocardiogram according to the special protocol and we'll perform cardiac. MRI, MRI according to the myocarditis protocol. Patients will fulfill health questionnaires that may include 36 health survey questionnaires, SF36, scores of the European quality of life, five dimensions, EQ5D survey, which is also health related quality of life score. The scores on the European Quality of Life Visual Analog Scale EQ VAS. Kansas City scores in the European, I mean, Kansas City Cardio Myopathy Questionnaire Cake CCQ. Wow, Kansas City. The investigators will obtain blood samples from all the patients, complete blood count, C-react protein, propnein, CPK, pro and liver and kidney functions, magnesium and cytokines. In addition, all participants will undergo echocardiogram, echocardiogram tests to evaluate their systolic and diastolic functions in the heart. Ethical considerations, the study poses no danger to the participant. It has the potential to improve the understanding and the impact of myocarditis, post-COVID-19 mRNA vaccines on the quality of life of those patients and provide a decent follow-up for the participant. Any participant will sign an informed consent form. Official title, Consequences of Post- this vaccine right here, BNT162B2 vaccine myocarditis and multiple inflammatory syndrome myocarditis. Israel, Jerusalem. Eligibility, adult males and females, minors, males and females, 16 years or older, child, adult, older, adult, sex is all, except as health volunteers, yes, except healthy volunteers, yes, sampling method, no probability sample, evidence of myocarditis on biopsy or increased biomarkers of myocardial injury. Acute onset symptoms of cardiac dysfunction, dyspnea, dys, 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 palpit, palpit, 
that ain't palpitations it's palpations chest pain and sin up palpitations that's just say palpations I don't know image for cardiac energy Entry mark diffuse reduction, left vertical wall movement with dramatic decreased left vertical wall injection fraction, 40% of cardiac magnetic resonance imaging. Also considering acute coronary syndrome but unable to perform coronary anigraphy or distinguish acute coronary syndrome from the myocarditis or otherwise suffer from volt valvulopsy myocardial injury caused by sepsis medical agents or poisoning malignancy or any comorbidity limiting survival conditions predicting inability to complete the study study population patients that were hospitalized at hadash medical center and other hospitals in israel with the diagnosis of Myocarditis post COVID 19 or post BNT162B2 vaccine as specified in the inclusion criteria. Tropamine levels each clinical visit will be documented. Pro BNP levels in each clinical. CRP levels in each clinical cardiac MRI will be performed on at least yearly and evaluate for regular increase in the T2 weighted images. Collaborators, sponsored by Hadash Medical Organization, collaborators, no information provided, investigators, principal investigator, Dror Mavarak, MD, Hadash Medical Organization. This is interesting. This is so interesting, um. So yeah, they are in other countries. I'm not sure if the United States, you got to look at the clinical trials, but they are basically the clinical trial is trying to link it. Yep, the vaccine has become one of the most prevalent vaccines against the COVID-19 and is currently the main vaccine used in Israel since marketing and the beginning of Use of the vaccine, we and others are, have reported of the development of post-vaccination myocarditis. So yeah, they done linked them. They have linked them. So there we have it. Unearth the magic. The truth will definitely set you free.